Hey there. I've got a really big announcement about what bikes I'm gonna be riding in 2020 and possibly beyond. A big part of why this is such a big announcement is my personal history with IBIS. So let's get in the time machine. I'll tell you a little bit of a story about how I got started with IBIS and my relationship with them. And let's get out of the office and do this someplace more scenic. Let's go. November 2008, and the U.S. economy was as bad as it's ever been. We are in the midst of a serious financial crisis. This is going to be one of the watershed days in financial markets history. The basis of employment, it's doing about as poorly as you can imagine. Gas was super expensive. Some gas stations are even closing down because prices are so high and gas is so scarce. I had just graduated school in March, had spent six months unemployed and hadn't found many opportunities. 2.6 million jobs were cut from the economy last year. That's the greatest decline since 1945. I honestly felt like a bit of a failure. I just worked my tail off getting a degree and I had to move back in with my parents and had really no additional options. Eventually, a family friend who knew the guys at IBIS lined up an interview for me, and I'll forever be thankful that that opportunity came up. One cold, rainy day in November 2008, I drove down the hill and went to that interview with Tom and Hans, two of the owners of IBIS. They didn't have work for me right away, but they did have some odd jobs I could start doing. I remember measuring links that had just arrived from Taiwan, making sure they were within quality control spec. Eventually, the calls for odd jobs started to increase. It was also right around this time that the IBIS management signed a lease for a new headquarters right in Santa Cruz, California. This meant they needed help with the move. I remember loading a 20-foot U-Haul truck with frames, components, tools, any and everything you could think of a bike company would have, and delivering these truckloads of stuff to that new facility in Santa Cruz. We had the new warehouse basically set up and operational, and I didn't have any work lined up for a couple weeks, so I went to the desert, rode my motorcycle, and absolutely wondered what the heck was gonna happen next. Luckily, I got the call to come back and do some more warehouse work, which, with no other opportunities on the horizon, I went for it. Now, I didn't go to school to work in a warehouse, but there weren't really any other opportunities. And I figured run with this as much as I could because who knew where it was going to go? After two years of working in the warehouse, I eventually earned a promotion into the sales room, which is really where things started to turn around for me. Hi guys, my name is Jeff Kendallweed. I do inside sales here at Ibis Cycles. While I was working sales, I was busy 40 hours a week fielding up to 70, 100 phone calls a day. It was a very high paced job. I would try to race on the weekends. I was making videos here and there, and I really gave Ibis my everything. This would be a good time to ask all of you something. At what point did you find your way as an adult? For me, it was when I finally made it into the sales room at IBIS. We first started selling a Mojo HD in 2010, and today's bike is a modern update based on the original general concept and principle. I'll forever be thankful to Tom and Hans for giving me that opportunity with IBIS. And after seven years there in 2015, my wife and I had just gotten engaged and I had a fantastic opportunity at WTB. I needed to continue learning and growing as a professional and there were a lot of great opportunities with that new role at WTB, so I took the job. I continued to be sponsored by IBIS and ride IBIS bikes and to this day I still ride IBIS bikes. It was a real testament to the guys at IBIS that they wanted to keep me on board as a sponsored rider. When I really started this YouTube channel in late 2017, I had to sell all my old race bikes to help fund it, and I was super reliant upon sponsorship to keep things going. I first met the guys at Jensen while I was working for IBIS. Today, Jensen's one of my biggest supporters, and thanks to all of you, things are going awesome. 
I use those links in my YouTube descriptions in order to track the sales and people head over to Jensen and buy something. And for that referral over to Jensen, I earn a small commission on whatever they end up purchasing. I have a link in the YouTube description below where you can check out the Ripley over at Jensen USA. And anything you purchase at Jensen will directly help support my channel as well. That's not traditionally a great way to make much money, but it's really helped both Jensen and me out to see the performance of what we're doing. When I was chatting 2020 sponsorship with IBIS, they made mention of the deals they have in place with other YouTubers. And honestly, they were really good. Now I'm gonna do three videos for IBIS this year. That's it, just three videos, all product related and I need to ride Ibis bikes in half of all of my content. Now, this is huge because that means I'm wide open for the other half of my videos. With Jensen on board, I've got the opportunity to ride a lot of really cool bikes out there, and you've all been responding so well to my ride report videos about the various bikes I've been riding, so I figured this is a great way to grow those videos. You're gonna start seeing some non-Ibis bikes on the channel. And I will continue to disclose that half the time, I need to ride IBIS bikes. Simple as that. I'm really excited about this new arrangement. It shows a willingness to be creative from IBIS. It's a great opportunity to work more with Jensen, who's been very supportive of everything I've been doing. And it satisfies my desire to ride some cool new bikes. I know the story's a little long-winded, so I apologize if you've had a hard time staying with me here, but I really enjoy our time hanging out, making these videos, and I'd love to hear how did you really come to be an adult in your working life? Where was it? What were you doing? Leave me a comment below. I'm finishing up my first non-IBIS bike video right now. I got to ride this really cool bike from Intense, and I'm really excited to share that footage with all of you. Stay tuned. The channel's going to be better than ever in 2020. Leave me that comment. If you haven't yet, click subscribe, and I'll see you guys around. Cheers.